Well, this is a sequel I wasn't expecting to make. A few months ago, I made a video about the suspended monorail at the Ueno Zoo in Tokyo, Japan. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's a pretty interesting story, so I highly recommend you check it out. But long story short, it was Japan's first monorail opening in 1957. The line was short, very short, only about 300 meters long. That's less than a quarter mile. It shuttled people between the two halves of the zoo and it was a beloved icon. I grew up in Tokyo and this was one of my personal favorite trains. But because it was so small, isolated, and such a novelty, the government was having a hard time finding affordable parts for it, so it closed down in 2019. In 2023, the verdict was in. It would be entirely dismantled. And on that sad note, I ended the video. I didn't really think that it would be replaced. After all, it is such a short distance. But then a few weeks ago in late March, I began seeing news messages pop up in different places saying that Tokyo was going to build a new transit line in the place of the monorail. And when I learned what the plan was, I immediately checked to see if this wasn't just some elaborate April Fool's hoax. But it turns out it's not. Ueno Zoo really is getting a roller coaster as its new transit line. That's right, Tokyo's government had invited different companies to submit proposals, and the roller coaster proposal won. So you may be thinking, will it include drops, loops, or maybe some crazy twists? Nope, none of that. There will be no height restrictions or seat belts. Here, take a look at the renderings. It looks like an ordinary small train, doesn't it? It's not even open air or anything. It looks like something that you might see at an airport. Oh, and here it is with animal stickers on it. Aww. The only roller coaster aspect of this train will be the rails that it runs on. Rather than just resting on top of a rail like normal trains, the wheels on these vehicles will grasp onto the rails from the top, the bottom, and the side. While it will use electricity going uphill, for part of the way downhill, the plans say that the train will rely on gravity, much like a real roller coaster, which you have to admit is pretty cool. But other than that, it pretty much is just a train. So you already know this, but I am not a Gadgetban hater. I like riding the quirky and unusual trains, and I'm definitely not saying let's build every future metro with this technology, not at all. But this is a super short, isolated line whose main function is to be an attraction anyways. Isn't it the perfect place to experiment new technologies? I for one am very excited to see this thing in action. We will have to wait until 2027 for it to open, but Coaster Transit? That's something I'll wait in line for. It just leaves me with one final question. When it opens, will this be the slowest roller coaster ever? Thanks for watching today. If you enjoy learning about trains from all over the world, consider checking out another video or two. And if you like what you see, subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.